who are you gonna be? And if you notice, I'm not asking you what are you gonna do, but who are you gonna be? I'm asking you about how you plan to live your life every day. How are you gonna respond when you don't get that job you had your heart set on? For all of you who are gonna be teachers, what are you gonna do? The students in your class next year just don't respond to your lessons. For all of you going into business, how will you react when your boss gives you all that feels way too high? See, these are the moments that define us. Not the day you get the promotion, not the day you win Teacher of the Year, but the times that force you to claw and scratch and fight just to get through the day. The moments when you get knocked out and you're wondering whether it's even worth it to get back up. See, those are the times when you've got to ask yourself, who am I going to be? And I want to be clear, this isn't just some vague platitude about building character. In recent years, we've actually been seeing a growing body of research that shows that skills like resilience and conscientiousness can be just as important to your success as your test scores or even your IQ. For instance, West Point cadets who scored high on things like grit and determination were more likely to complete basic training than those who ranked high on things like class rank, SAT scores, and physical fitness. See, those are the times when you've got to ask yourself, who am I going to be? And I want to be clear, this isn't just some vague platitude about building character. In recent years, we've actually been seeing a growing body of research that shows that skills like resilience and conscientiousness can be just as important to your success. So what we're seeing is that if you're willing to dig deep, if you're willing to pick yourself up when you fall, if you're willing to work and work until your weaknesses become your strengths, then you'll develop a set of skills that you can mold and apply to any situation you encounter, any job you might have, any crisis you might confront, but you got to make the choice. Who are you going to be? So graduate, think about how this will apply to your own lives in the future. As you move on, how are you going to come across all kinds of people from all places and faiths and walks of life? And you can choose to pass them by with a word, or you can choose to reach out to them, no matter who they are, or where they come from, or what ideas they might have. Embracing the diversity of experience and opinion that surrounds us everywhere we go. So, so I encourage you all, seek it out. Don't just spend time with people your own age. You would be amazed at the wisdom we have to offer. If you're a Democrat, spend some time talking to a Republican. And if you're a Republican, have a chat with a Democrat. Maybe you'll find some common ground, maybe you won't. But if you honestly engage with an open mind, 
an open heart, I guarantee you learn something. And goodness knows we need more of that because we know what happens when we only talk to people who think like we do. We just get more stuck in our way. You all can can get past all that. You've got the freedom of an open mind. And thanks to today's technology, you're connected to each other into the world like never before. So you can either choose to those opportunities to continue fighting the fights that we've been left in for decades. Or you can choose to reject those old divisions and embrace Fox with a different point of view. And if you do that, the latter, who knows where it might take you. And let me just share a little secret before I end. As someone who has hired and managed hundreds of young people over the course of my career, the answers to those questions, believe me, are far more important than you can ever imagine. Whether it was during my time as a lawyer, as an administrator, as a university, a nonprofit manager, even now, as First Lady, I have never once asked someone I was interviewing to explain a test score. I have never once made a hire just because someone went to an Ivy League school instead of a state school. Never. What I have looked for is what kind of person you are? Are you a hard worker? Are you reliable? Are you open to other viewpoints? Have you stepped outside of your own self-interest to serve others? Again and again, I have seen that those are the qualities that I want on my team because those are the qualities that move our businesses and schools and our entire country forward. And just understand this, those are the qualities that you all already embody. They're the values you've learned from your parents from the communities you grew up in. They're the skills you developed here at EKU as you work so hard to make it to this day. Today, more than ever before. That's what the world needs. We need more people like you. So after you've come this far, after all the ups and downs, I hope that it is no longer a question of whether or not you can make in this world, but how and where are you going to make your mark?